But let's crack on, shall we? Now, one of the, when I ended my last last week's podcast, ended with me uh, doing something I have done uh, more often than I, I, I like. I like to, and it's something that I, you know, people seem to think people think I have, uh, you know, this overwhelming desire to that I've got some vendetta uh, against atheists, and um, particularly the sort of the, what is referred to as the new atheists. They should just be called annoying atheists. You know, atheists who have just you know, they've, they've just gone too far. They probably started out with good intentions, but now they've got too big for their boots. They've stared into the abyss. The abyss has now absorbed them. They've dived balls first into the abyss. The abyss is but them. And, I don't, I, you know, I don't mean to have a go at this, but, you know, the, the, the fact is I just beca- I became very despondent, you know, a long time ago with this whole... Uh, movement atheism, this whole sort of idea of militant atheism, it just became rather because I, there just became this whole sense of where atheists getting together online, where they realised they had great numbers, and they went from being the sort of noble Spartans, you know, fighting against what they perceived to be the masses of the Persian Empire from the, you know, the Fuktardian Empire of Deludia, and now they've ter- they've realised it's the other way round, particularly on the internet. So now it's They've sort of gone right. Well, bollocks! It's our turn. We're going to be the. Who's the daddy now? You know, use some coal marks and cover up those those bruises, you black bastard sort of thing. We are. We've turned into that. And I just find and and the, the, every every week I find some. They do something that just collectively or there is or some prominent atheist. I mean, Richard Dawkins' Twitter account. I swear the man's got a brain aneurysm and he's just, or he's, he's been told he's got degenerative brain damage and he's merely recording how, you know, quickly he, you know, loses his mind on Twitter. And he does the, and he does it in the, to see if any of his so-called sceptical fan base actually bother pointing and saying, Richard, are you well? Are you okay? But th- this week, you know, I, I, I have to bring this up because this was just the fucking limit for me. Um... Atheists en masse, you know, bombarded uh, by using Twitter and any other form of social media. The uh, the website and uh, the new, the uh, news outlet called Mother Jones, which is a is a pretty good news outlet. I've you, I, you know I uh, you know, check it out. It's not one. It's it's one of the better ones. I feel. Mother Jones made this joke, and I say joke. It was it was not a joke intended to be. You know, it was not a sort of underhanded joke. It wasn't a backhanded sort of dig. It wasn't an attempt to pretend. It wasn't doing what a lot of people do, where they use comedy as an excuse to promote a, a really sort of nefarious and un, and sinister agenda. It was just, and it was a crap joke. You know, it was a lame joke. Um, but it was just this. Vi- it was this video they were promoting of this very, very quite you know spectacular hailstorm, and they tweeted it out under you know using. We've all heard the old. Um, Myth of uh, there's no atheists in foxholes, which is this idea that atheists are less likely to serve in the military. Um, I don't know why this is perceived as a bad thing. Um, yeah, I, I don't have any desire to be taken for a ride by my government and forced to spend my time lying in a desert, you know, trying to avoid the Taliban or if or, or even worse, short-sighted American pilots who think I'm Osama bin Laden, whited up in British military fatigues. But they tweeted out this hailstorm and it said, there are no atheists in hailstorms. That's it. It's not even that funny. It's just sort of a... But, I mean, the reaction to it should just be... That's it. But the reaction was... It was just an... Just the, the storm of fucking Hades. The militant anti-theist dis- anti-theistic monsoon was unleashed and they were just thousands upon th- apparently two and a half thousand you know complaints had bombarded mother jones for this little meaningless you know, completely fucking you know harmless un- non non inflammatory little joke just a play on the old thing it was a joke and atheists lose their goddamn fucking minds over it and I'm sorry, but any this is that is just the limit, you know. Th- th- if there's one group on here who do not have any, f- if there's one sort of, if I had to think of one label, of uh, any sort of section of society demographic that has no fucking place, 
and has no right to get on a high horse about someone making a joke at their expense, it's atheist. Because let's face it, when it comes to making jokes at other people's expense, I think we've got form, haven't we? The, the, you know, the, the vast majority of comedy and jokes and jibes and... You know, snarky remarks and and you know, stand up material. I mean, how many jokes do we do we have to do we make on a daily basis? How many? La- and they're not even. Most of them ain't even good. Oh, uh, so you got like invisible friend in the sky, right? Like, so what? You believe like unicorns that fly around and deliver babies and you know, it's whatever. You know, just so what you think God made the earth in like what six days and what like had a wank? You know, it just it just rubbish, right? Okay, you know. And 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 theers, yeah, I know theers bitch and moan, but for the most part, they tend to sort of like, you know, and and if a, and if a religious person ever does complain about a joke that's made or any joke that's made at the expense of their belief or their or their or them specifically because of their beliefs, you know, the reaction is like, well, I've got freedom of speech. I do. You don't have the right not to be offended. You, you I can say whatever. So fuck you. And so, you know, this is embarrassing. You should, anyone who tweeted a complaint. To Mother Jones about that. You should be embarrassed. You are an embarrassment. And this is just another step forward before atheism. You know, it's it was a long running joke years ago when people talk about oh a- atheism being a religion. But slowly but surely it's getting there because people are starting to let's you know, just because something definitionally currently you know, something by its definition, its current uh, the way it's currently defined, cannot be a religion does not mean it cannot turn into one. And if people start assigning assigning shit to atheism, like behavior, things atheists should and should not do, which people do a lot more often, you know, things that are you know, characteristics of atheists and 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 behavioral, ta- uh, you know, behaviors of atheists and uh, you know, general sort of overall. Act- you know, I mean, I always say to them, look at Scientology and show me where any theistic claims are made there are claims about spirits that go into volcanoes but that's that's not a theistic claim there is no theistic creator there is no all powerful deity creator in scientology it is an atheistic religion or cult whatever you want and it's probably the most batshit one there and it's what 65 70 years old you know Get the, you know, this, but again, you try telling people this, and they just make up new new ones. And you try you try pointing this out to them, and I'll get it now. But like, atheists need to stop infighting. That is the anyone who ever says that. That is the desperate cry of an atheist who started to realise that they might not be as brilliant, witty, and intelligent as they had previously thought. Right? What's the point in being an atheist if you're not if you're going to have to force yourself to infight? The whole point of being not being in a religion is you don't you don't have to listen to what other people say. You can do what you want. You are beholden to nobody. You know, and we're supposed to. There's always you, know, you tend to always hear them bang on about oh we need to promote critical thinking and freedom of speech. Well, how does not criticizing other atheists? You know, because it makes you know, you know. I think it makes us look good. It makes us look strong. And if there's one thing on the internet that really is guaranteed to fail, it is the idea that you can just tell people to shut up and they will. I was at first as outraged as everybody else by the Pope's opening remarks as soon as he landed, blaming Hitler for the atrocities of atheists. As a Christian of Germany, it was showing that we had rattled my Lord and Saviour, Saddam Hussein, so much that he was buggering unicorns so as to divert attention from the real penis of gay people. How dare Ratzinger suggest that leprechaun has any connection whatsoever with unicorns buggering Saddam Hussein? I can just imagine leprechaun penis. How are we going to distract them from gay people buggering boys and leprechauns buggering atheists? After 2,000 years, leprechauns came the Jewish poison. Adolf Hitler never actually existed. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the disgusting theory to shore up his own pitifully declining penis. It was godlessness that made Hitler and Stalin the monsters that they were. Buggering penis, buggering penis, buggering penis, buggering penis.